Hey folks, in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Anston HDMI wireless transmitter. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. This is your first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. Link is in the description. So this is actually going to be a hardware review that goes along with the complete um, guide that I'm doing where, where we're transforming our chapel into a place that can live stream and as well as hopefully give some of y'all some ideas on how to do that whole process from nothing to a church sanctuary um, chapel that can live stream. So what I mentioned before is we have a 4K TV that's on the pulpit, um, but our media booth is in the back and I didn't really want to run cables, what I traditionally would do to connect to this, but this was a great opportunity for me to test out a HDMI wireless transmitter that a bunch of y'all have asked me to test out. And again, I've never had one. So what I did is I actually just went to Amazon, looked up a wireless transmitter, looked for a one that had five stars and had the most reviews. And that is the one I got. So if we cut over here. This is the Anston um, 1080p says goes up to 330 feet line of sight um, HDMI transmitter. So let's go ahead and open this up and let's see what's inside of here. Pretty straightforward, I would assume. All right, we got a little attention registration. All right, here's unit number one, very light. I must say, and it has a whole bunch of wraps. I don't know, it, it, it feels like it's, honestly, it feels cheaply made, to be quite honest. Very plasticky and things like that. But again, this is the first time I've ever really dealt with one of these, so I don't know if this is kind of the standard or not. This came in to around, um, I got it on sale, and it was about $170 marked down from 199 so we'll see i think this is this is the transmitter because it has hdmi in and out so it's a pass through power we have some lights here change the channel power status hdmi and go from 5g or 2.4 gigahertz ir out and a reset okay so that way we can actually keep the remote upstairs instead of downstairs and can turn the TV on. Now I am going to test this both ways. I'm using this to bridge and make the TV a second monitor for the computer, but I'm also going to connect this to a camera and just see what's the reception and does it actually support 330 some feet. I need to see if I can even find a place I can test that. And it does say line of sight. Okay, a whole bunch of little pieces came out all right so it's a little door and then we got the second unit the receiver almost exactly the same thing status lights IR in that's IR out okay and then we have power and HDMI out, okay? Pretty straightforward. Um, we got our manual that is all in Chinese. I'm assuming that's Chinese. Oh, there we go, there's English right there. Okay, so we will test this out and see what else, how the quality of this is. If not, it is going right back to the store. Here is our IR out, which would go with this one. 
power adapter. Another power adapter and IRN. And that's pretty much it. So what's we gonna do? Let me hook up my other camera here, my Sony, and let's see what we get. So this is gonna be in, so we'll plug the Sony into this. All right, we got that plugged in. All right, we got power. Let me turn my camera on. All right, and now we got a light saying it's detecting HDMI. I am on five gigahertz. Now let's plug this one in. All right, and we, now we just gotta give this one some power. Yes, yeah, plugged into number two. Let's see. Okay, so we're getting this. And there we go. So now it's picking up this camera. Now granted, I'm right beside, these adapters are right beside each other, but I'm wondering what type of latency is between this. I can see my mouth is, it's a little, it's a little delayed in here. So from a camera standpoint, I would need to add some type of delay with this, but I'm wondering if I broadcast this to a TV, how this will work. So, I mean, granted in my, in my apartment, I'm kind of <laughs> limited on how far I can test this, but what I'm gonna do, let me pull down the green screen. I'm gonna hook this up to the output and let me see what we get with that. All right, so as you can see, I am coming out of the A10 Mini into the transmitter and I'm doing a the pass through into my recording system. And as you can see, we have this connected to the TV and you're seeing the full response of everything. So I'm just wondering All right, so you can see there is a delay in this, but for the purposes of what this would mainly be for is for um, putting presentations or scripture or something like that on the screen. So if, let's say we open up, let's open up Worship Extreme or any other presentation software that you have, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna output this, all right? And we're gonna switch over to monitor number two. And as you can see, there we go. Works perfectly fine. Um, again, I wouldn't use this to display like video or anything like that because of the delay. Um, so from this distance, which is nothing but about like six to eight feet, it works perfectly fine. But like I said, I am, I'm a little hesitant on if I would put a camera on this. So, I mean, I'll put it this way. I would put a camera on this if I didn't, I just needed to have a shot and it didn't need to be in sync. So like right now, I have this camera on me. You can see my mouth as well as going on with the audio. I would be mindful of something like that. Um, I wouldn't put something like this, maybe even a better one, um, a more powerful one, maybe that would give better performance. But for this, just to display an image to the second, um, to the TV as a second monitor in our chapel, I think this works perfectly. Again, I would not put video of a person on there if they were trying to be talking at the same time. But if I just needed like a shot of the congregation or something like that, where I'm not really trying to match the audio with what I'm seeing, I think this will work perfectly fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and 
test this out at my chapel and this is going to be what we i'm going to probably just get some um, double-sided velcro put this on the back of the 4k tv so that the receiver that's there on the tv behind me will be stuck to the back and this our actually it is going to be line of sight where i'm at i'm going to set it on the ledge at the in the media area in the chapel so it's a line of sight down there so i think that was going to be cool so um, let me know in the description um, if there's anything else that you'd like to test out. So this is just the initial everything. I'm going to be hooking up the infrared and IR blasters and all that other fun stuff when I actually have this installed at my church in the chapel. So it's another step getting closer to transforming that chapel into a complete live streaming capable um, sanctuary, church, building, whatever you want to call it. So, Anyway, there will be a link in the description to the exact same product that I have if anyone is interested to that, as well as you'll probably have a bunch of other ones as well, too. And I am pleasantly surprised. Similar to the capture card that we tested a while ago, I am going to put this to its paces to see if it burns out like this one did. Um, but we'll do that. Um, we'll see some more details of the thorough testing of this when we're installing this at my church so if you like this type of content i appreciate a like consider subscribing and hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry and i want to thank the patrons who made this video possible their names are on the screen right now and you also can become a patron for as little as one dollar a month where you help us train other media ministries all over the world this is aj folks thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video later